hazards, and ultimately, hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If Eos is like Habitat 7, that signal we scan must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. They must have known. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our hops. Lost his footing. Swept away. His body. power but not the interior doors full functionality would require an active power relay station that means the antenna's out of power too the logs might tell us what's up with the power relay Got a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts, to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter... That... Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a lot... It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? Guess that ship wasn't kept then. 
They don't knock. There are people here. You thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Yeah. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. This and up. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or... Really, Ryder? about the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now. Right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. Hey, hey. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. 
Now the power is restored, we can inv investigate the nearby buildings. What do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Activating automated forward station deployment. station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Ascent is go. All clear. Can we talk when you're free? Pathfinder.
It's so wonderful to meet you. I'm Dr. Suvi Anwar, assigned to act as liaison between your crew and the Nexus science team. Welcome to my team. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. I can't wait to get to work. There hasn't been much to do so far, unfortunately. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. 60 pages. Will this be useful to my mission? It's extraordinary what we can learn from Dirt's profile, what lived and died here, how our own plants might fare. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to see Helios. It's why I joined the initiative. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We're the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible. The first time I handled a Prothean artifact, I was hooked. It was so... alien. I just knew. There's more out there, and I want to see all of it. I totally know what you mean. So will you be joining us on missions? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Me, out there, with the guns and the danger and everything. I'm good with guns and danger. I could teach you, and make sure you're okay out there. Really? Maybe one day, when things are more settled, I couldn't imagine a better teacher. Anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Later, then. Coordinating, path is calm. Traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. I'm 
picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. enough to carry heavy equipment up there. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? I think that's enough. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. or I will push you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things! From Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make little bots! first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. 
Ryder. You've been studying this... remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. You sure it'll help Eos? Or am I just a handy way to get those monoliths online? I'm a little offended by that, Ryder. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe. But we both get what we want. Just try. It's not like we can make this planet worse. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. levels increasing. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Look there. That spot has shelter, water, stable ground. It was initially overlooked due to heavy kept presence at the nearby remnant structure, but it would be an excellent outpost site. Ket and remnant seems you can't find one without the other. So, if we clear the skies, this might be our new home. The Site 1 folks were interested in the monoliths too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. Watch out, remnant. More remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. High level of remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. To continue, you will need to decrypt it. That could come in handy. I think we need more glyphs.
to use the interface that controls this. You good at this? So close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, we'll crack it. There's so much tech here. It has to help. Then I can see Carrie again. It's been a slow start, but we got this. We. Oh no. No! 